no Cosmo. Just water. I need water. As we all know, Cosmos Episode 2 premiered last night on Fox, and I found it to be way, way better than last week. It wasn't because one was of higher quality than another. I was just more familiar with the topics of conversation in this episode. The first topic discussed was the idea of artificial selection, which uh, is the kind of antithesis of natural selection. I'm really into artificial selection. I think it's a really cool process that humans have been able to evolve to breed animals, plants, whatever, and in light of the recent genetically modified food craze where everyone's like, you can't eat genetically modified foods, it's not safe. Do you have any idea how many of our foods that we eat have already been genetically modified before they're adding additional genetic modification? Like corn, for example. Ancient humans had to basically breed corn into something that was more readily able to be eaten instead of just like a type of grass that had the seeds on the end. So anyone who starts arguing with me about genetically modified foods can bibbity bobbity back up. And I thought it was interesting that they so concretely said that natural selection was the driving force of evolution in light of a lot of recent data that's suggesting that it's more mutation driven than naturally selecting for certain mutations. I need to reread the article, it's been a while. And I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that once I read up on the topic a bit because I think that's really interesting because I've always been a proponent for natural selection driving evolution and this new idea is actually really interesting. Charles Darwin was finally discussed in great length and I think everyone needs to learn about Charles Darwin whether you are a proponent for evolution or a proponent for intelligent design. He made a lot of great contributions to science other than his theory of natural selection and evolution. Uh, for example, he was right about coral atoll formation and he just did a lot of great work and I think everyone needs to read up on him because he's just one of the great fathers of science as we know it today. And can I talk about how exciting it was that they talked about tardigrades? Tardigrades are one of my favorite invertebrate species and even though I'm a marine bio major I have a lot of love for this freshwater species. They're so dynamic and out of the ordinary and I could go on for years about how much I love tardigrades. And I might just do that in a separate video where it's just, I love tardigrades. So I will save you all from a tardigrade rant and just put it in another video another day. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, leave some comments for me down in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, all that good social media stuff. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Cheers for Cosmos. I need more water. <laughs>